Get ready to be inspired. Men of Honor, a salute to African-American men, is coming up on November 16th, offering a chance to celebrate the incredible achievements of African-American men in our community. From leadership to advocacy, this event highlights those making a true difference in our community. And here to tell us more are Dr. Jonathan Brown, president of City Gospel Mission and senior pastor of Pilgrim Missionary Baptist Church. And, of course, we have Brandy Jones with us, chief communications and marketing officer for the Southwest Ohio Regional Church. Transit Authority and good morning to you both. Good, good morning. morning. Thanks for being here to talk about this. Uh, this is one of my favorite events of the year. And Brandy, we know that SORTA is a proud sponsor, a salute sponsor for this year's Man of Honor. Tell us more about that and the salute. What makes it so, so special and how was it created? Well, you know, the Men of Honor, a salute to African-American men, is, as you said, the best event yes. each year yes. as it recognizes five African-American individuals in our community who not only have excelled at the top of their career, but who are also making an impact in our community. And so we are very proud to share that uh, Metro CEO Daryl Haley is a recipient this year, along with Dr. B Brown, um, as well as uh, Robert Killens and Max L L Langenkamp and Rydell McCollihue. So so these are names that when you hear many people say, wow, they have mentored me, they have made impact in our community. Yeah. And so we're proud to be a sponsor and help give flowers to these gentlemen for their support and effort in our community. And you probably know best your CEO, Daryl Haley. Tell us about why he deserves this recognition so much. Well, you know, Daryl is someone who got his first job uh, riding on the Metro buses. And so really? he himself <laughs> has benefited from, you know, such a system in our city. And now that he's at the helm, he has taken it to be his personal mission to provide robust and enhanced transit that connects our entire region. So whether you're using transit to get to jobs, and not just jobs, but better paying jobs throughout mm -hmm. the region, um, he wants that experience to be stellar, give people access to health care, to education, to social services. If you want to go to a Reds game or enjoy all the things that our community has to offer, he has really invested in how to make this city that he has grown up in and love even better. I love that. I love that story. And we want to say congratulations to you, Dr. Brown. You were one of the recipients so this year. So talk about your community work and uh, especially this is kind of a special year because it's the 100th anniversary of City Gospel Mission and also your 10th anniversary as pastor. That's so talk correct. about those two things coming together. Well, it is a an honor to be here with you today and thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. And so this is a combination of just being called to serve. And so I've been called to serve as a classroom teacher, as an educator, called to serve as pastor of Pilgrim Missionary Baptist Church, and also called to serve at uh, City Gospel Mission where we're celebrating 100 years, as you said, and then my 10th pastoral anniversary at Pilgrim Missionary Baptist Church. And so our goal, our mission, again, is to break the cycle of poverty and despair. And we do that by calling and serving those that are hungry and homeless and those that are in need of jobs and things of that nature. And so we are super excited and thankful uh, to be recognized. And I feel sort of uncomfortable talking about <laughs> any accomplishments because I realize that whatever I've accomplished, I'm standing on the shoulders of individuals who've come before me. And uh, I'm just thankful and filled with gratitude uh, to be recognized. But when I'm recognized, City Gospel Mission is recognized. Yes. Uh, when I'm recognized, Pilgrim Missionary Baptist Church is recognized. Uh, all the work that we do uh, and the service that we provide is also recognized. And it is the heart work, I, yes. I do believe that. The Seventh Principles Foundation is providing a $5,000 grant for each honoree to designate to an organization that serves black males. Dr. Brown, what organization did you select and why? So I selected My Brother's Keeper. Uh, My Brother's Keeper is a organization designed to help African-American males to learn about the wealth gap uh, and to close the wealth gap. And so they are learning about financial literacy, about the economy, and how they can be contributors and so that they are not, uh, so that they are uh, actually closing the wealth gap. And so these are uh, African-American males in the high school at uh, Aiken High School uh, around uh, grades 10, 11, and 12. Okay. And so we're super excited for those young men. Such, such important work. And, and Brandy, tell us about Daryl's recipient, because I know he's, con he's also chosen a great one, too. Yes, um, his recipient is the Preston Brown Foundation. They help uh, young males from kindergarten to 12th grade in underserved, impoverished areas get access to wealth 
wellness, mental health care. So whether it's therapists, learning to do meditation or yoga, and also healthy eating. And they looked at the whole mind and body wellness of our young men. I love that. So if people want to attend the Man of Honor celebration, how can they get, go about getting tickets? Well, the event is Saturday, November 16th, and you can purchase tickets at theabercumbrygroup.com slash men of honor. All right, Brandy and Dr. Brown, thanks so much for being here, telling us about the Men of Thank Honor. You. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks so much. Thank you.